Investing Activities Part 2 As we have started our discussion on investing activities and we have seen that it is extremely important for any business organization to effectively invest the funds that are generated from different sources. Otherwise, the businesses would not be profitable and we will not be able to meet the cost of financing, the cost of funds. We have discussed that investment is short term and investment is long term. When investment is to be done on long term basis, is may zyada risk involved for the I've used this term risk. In a layman's understanding, risk is uncertainty because it is something which is related to future. Aane wale vakt mein hamara return kya hoga? Hamare expected return ke barabar usse kam ya usse zyada. So, if there is a probability, if there is a chance that we may earn more or less than what we expect, we say that there is an element of risk in it. So, when we are making our investments for long term, so we are committing the money for a long period of time, that is many years. And if it is not profitable, then the results will be seen after a few years and there will be no time for us to recover. And that is why in financial management, we have to uh, plan our long-term investments. And what we do is we do capital budgeting. Capital budgeting is a technique which is used in making long-term investments where we analyze every long-term investment in terms of cash flows. The term cash flow simply means the cash inflow and cash outflow. Agar hamari organization paisa kisi ko de rahi hai, hamare paas se paisa ja raha hai, so ye cash outflow hai. Aur agar hamare paas paisa aa raha hai, to ye cash inflow hai. Obviously, why would we pay when we are purchasing something, when we are incurring some expenses? So jab hum long term investment karte hai, then there is a cash outflow. And this cash outflow has to be returned in the future with additional return. So capital budgeting ke andar hum kuch methods use karte hain jin ke zariye se hum apni long term investment ka analysis karte hain. And these are called discounted cash flow methods. The term discounted means that in these methods we calculate the present values of those cash flows which will be generated in the future and then we make our analysis on the basis of the results of these methods. The four common methods that we'll discuss in detail in the later part of our course are IRR, internal rate of return, net present value that is NPV, profitability index that is PI and payback period method. Here the purpose is just to tell you that these are methods which we will see in the Then when an organization is making investment outside its core business activities, then this investment can be in stock exchange, ke ho sakti hai, stock market. Ke ho sakti hai. In Pakistan, uh, we had three stock exchanges, but now we have got one stock exchange which is called Pakistan Stock Exchange. Uh, if you have a look at it, this is the, the website of this Pakistan Stock Exchange uh, where you can find all the details which are related to uh, stock markets, operation, indices, you know, the rates, changing rates every uh, day, the volumes, the trades which have taken place. And this is something which will take up in future, inshallah. The second investment is what is called the short term investment and that is done in the money market. Money market is not as the term uh, apparently seems is a market of currency, but it is a term which is used for, used for making short term investment. 
یعنی جب ہم نے تھوڑے عرصے کے لیے پیسہ انویسٹ کرنا ہے تھوڑے عرصے سے مراد ہے ایک دن ایک ہفتہ ایک مہینہ یا چند مہینے تو ہم منی مارکیٹ میں انویسٹ کرتے ہیں اینڈ انادر وے آف میکنگ آر انویسٹمنٹ از تھرو واٹ از کالڈ میوچل فنڈ اے میوچل فنڈ از این آرگنائزیشن جہاں پر بہت سے لوگ اپنا پیسہ پول کرتے ہیں اکٹھا کرتے ہیں اور پھر اس کلیکٹڈ اماؤنٹ کو انویسٹ کرتے ہیں ایکسپرٹس ان اسٹاک مارکیٹس ان ریئل اسٹیٹ مارکیٹس انویسٹمنٹ ٹرسٹ ان کموڈیٹی مارکیٹس ان بلین مارکیٹس اور وہ اس سے پیسہ پروفٹ ارن کرنے کی کوشش کرتے ہیں سو میوچل فنڈ از اے مور سیکیورڈ وے آف میکنگ یور انویسٹمنٹ ویئر دا ایلیمنٹ آف رسک از لیسر دین انڈیویجول انویسٹمنٹس دیر از این آرگنائزیشن وچ از کالڈ میو فیپ میوچل فنڈس ایسوسیشنز آف پاکستان وے اسٹوڈنٹس کین گو اینڈ سی دیٹ ہاؤ دیز میوچل فنڈس ایکچولی ورک اینڈ واٹ آر دا ڈفرینٹ میوچل فنڈس وچ آر آپریٹنگ ان پاکستان اینڈ واٹ آر دا بینیفٹس آف میکنگ انویسٹمنٹس تھرو میوچل فنڈس بٹ دیر از اے ورائٹی آف میوچل فنڈس اینڈ دا بیسک کلاسیفیکیشن وچ از دیر ان دا میوچل فنڈس از واٹ از کالڈ کلوزڈ اینڈ and open and mutual funds those mutual funds whose share capital is once fixed are called closed and mutual funds and one can buy the shares of such a mutual fund and make investment and others are open ended where we can continue to make as much investment as we want